Mbappe in second place right behind Maria Butierskaya, the two-time European bronze medalist and bronze medalist from the Russian National Championships the last couple of seasons, but really trying to turn her season around here. She has struggled until this point. And she will open up with the double axle forward takeoff, two and a half revolutions. And this one of the most difficult triples, the triple lutz, but one of her strongest, as you can see there. And she puts a nice double toe loop and make it a combination. She is not one in this Grand Prix series and really one of those skaters that everyone kind of looks at and says, when she is on, she is as good as anybody. In fact, maybe even more impressive because of the jumping technique that you guys have talked about. Triple flip, a little tentative skating in here, but again, she really gets that height to allow the three revolutions. Take off, triple loop. One triple left. She now will attempt the second one. And only a double there. No. Focus is gone. athletic ability is just right there. To me, when I watch her, I just get the sense of the lack of confidence. She needs a little more polish, but she has the talent. Only 18 years old, from St. Petersburg, Russia. Began skating when she was seven years old. Her parents heard an advertisement on the radio for a rink that would introduce kids to ice skating. They took her by, and she loved it from the start. What's fun uh, when she's practicing is she's really the first one on the ice and the last one to leave. She has a great work ethic until she just loves the sport. A little bit of a rivalry beneath the surface, too, with Vanessa Guzmarola. You remember at the World Championship last year in Nice, the French Federation singled her out to drug test her. She tested negative. There was nothing there to be found, but there were plenty of rumors that the French just wanted to make sure that she didn't keep Luz Moroli off the podium. Whether there's any truth to that or not, we'll never know. She really needed to carry this through the program. Again, I'm so impressed the way she's able to vault into the air. Really nice height, good air position, and then a nice double toe loop. Solid triple let's double toe. Unfortunately, it didn't continue. 
in the South House, she just really rushed here. The free leg starts to come through a little bit too early, and she just loses the jump technique. Unfortunate. There's a look at the panel of judges here, and it does include a judge from the U.S. and one from Russia. Peter, what are they looking for? They want to see the complete package, a well-balanced program, quality extensions, spiral sequences. We might call that line. Originality and footwork, all very important. And the judges normally a bit reserved with the first skater in the final group. Those among the top contenders. First set now for technical merit, 5.5 to 5.7. Well, their skating became reserved once those jumps started to fall apart. Just has not been able to put together two good performances, the short and the long, in any one event this season so far. And out of the marks for presentation, here they are, Peter. Well, high of 5.8, but she needs more energy in her performance to bring those scores up even more. Opens the door a little bit, not the performance that Victoria Volchkova had hoped for. When we come.